Hello students, my name is Alana Yala. I'm a certified Spanish instructor and I'm recording this video to talk about a little bit about myself, my methodology, my techniques uh, and my professional experience also. Um, about myself, well I have a bachelor's degree in Spanish literature and linguistics from the University of Guanajuato in Mexico. I've been teaching since 2007 first as a high school teacher in my country then when I moved to the States in 2012 I started working in one of the most uh, recognized language schools in the Chicago area I have a Cortes method certificate for Spanish instructors also and I'm constantly seeking to improve my my teaching techniques about my teaching method well for the basics I, I use a special book series by levels which in my experience is one of the most effective Spanish courses for beginners. I use these books to explain the general concepts of Spanish grammar um, only in order to, to equip my students with solid foundations. And I would like to emphasize that I have lots of drills prepared, good examples and other teaching resources for my students. I also like to, to use a desktop sharing feature included in, in Google Hangouts to explain things using my desktop. It's a traditional whiteboard like in a traditional classroom. This is my tablet. Mm, this way you will be able to, to see what I have prepared for you following all the explanations step by step. And once my students feel fully confident with the structures, we can start with immersion uh, consisting of a three-step program. The first part in the immersion is uh, through reading. I prefer to start with this part even before we finish the grammar. This is the best way to build up vocabulary quickly uh, so we can start recognizing familiar grammar concepts, you know, all the tenses and the structures within uh, real-life contexts. I have a good personal selection of uh, interesting stories and articles and, or sometimes my students um, bring their own. From the start we hold short conversations about ourselves, the things we like to do, our friends, our jobs, personal interests and, and, interests and so forth. In the second step I introduce short media content such as TED Talks in Spanish, news reports, video tutorials podcasts and other media resources. I have also my own personal selection with subtitles and transcriptions um, that we analyze in deep. After this step, my students are now able to make opinions, analyze, criticize with more linguistic elements. In the third step and final step, I expose my students to more complex media like series, TV shows, movies, newspapers and magazines, more podcasts, literature and of course now we can hold longer conversations. After this my students are able to effectively survive in almost any daily situation and talk about almost anything they want because at this point they understand a vast amount of uh, uh, slang, idiomatic phrases and, and, and accents. So that's it. I, I hope this information will be helpful. I would love to have the opportunity to help you achieve your goals. I promise you will learn and enjoy the process. Be sure that you will have a well-trained professional teacher with a long teaching experience who know exactly what he's doing and who takes his job uh, seriously. I expect to see you guys very soon. Don't, for, don't forget to, to click on the link to, to, to register for a trial class. So. Thanks.